Hey guys, it's Anthony from PC Gaming Reviewers. So, okay, so first off, this PC game is called Battle of Immortals. I've been playing it for quite a while and decided to make a video about it. Well, first, this game is more about PvPing and roaming around the maps and killing monsters. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the skills. Every time you level up to the required level, you gain skills, and those skills can be upgraded here. And as you see, it, the, the required levels go from 110 every 15 levels you gain you get two or three skills and it goes all the way up to 115 and then you have all the missed skills and you can also upgrade your skills over here by Mina by talking to her just left clicker and upgrade skill and then you can upgrade all your skills and let's talk more about the char tab this is a good ship tab and so is the inventory tab but the char tab is more about gear and skills this is where you level up your skills, and every time, once you reach 20, you can level up all your skills as much as you want. Every time you level up, you get two points to level up. Okay, so I got a full set of Achilles, which is uh, level 45 required. It's a uh, pretty hard gear to get a full set of. I, I had to buy quite a lot of money. Okay, and let's talk about the pet tab. The pet tab, you can only you can upgrade your pet list, which I think it's only going to five for me. And I got some really rare stuff right here, which are really high levels actually. And then you have the mounts tab, which is inside the pets tab. This is where you pretty much say I see every t every uh, clash you make that are different. You get a new horse or pigeon or whatever it's called, you know, ostrich, and you can buy other mounts from the marketplace. All right, so enough about that, and let's talk about the inventory. Inventory is where you hold everything, everything basically, and it's pretty easy to understand. <laughs> and the skill tab, you already know about that. The quest tab, this is every time you get a quest, it's more like a job. You finish the job, and then you go back to the NPC that you need to go to. And you can sometimes, if there's an auto route, all you have to do is click this, and then click the orange lighting, orange highlighter, and then or the blue highlighter, and it'll take you right to the NPC you need to go to. Okay, and the tech system. The tech system is crafting and technology, research, and all that. It's not very helpful for me. But if you want to create soul jades, which are, they level up your physical attack for a champion, and they level up everything else for a mage, heretic, people who cast spells. Okay, the friend list. This one, I never really got the hang of because I never knew that find was the way you added friends. It's pretty easy to figure out, and the party tab, this is where you do events with people. Well, for me at least. I create a party, and then all you have to do is invite some people, go to an event, and here are the events tab. This is an important thing to level up with, the events. Here are the events, and every time you a couple, every couple times you level up, or you go to the certain level you need to level up to, you get new, um, you get new quests or events. And the events are very hard to, sometimes they're hard, sometimes they're easy. And here is the guild tab. Once you're level 70, you'll be more helpful. The trade tab and the introduction tab, which you would probably be on a level 70 and up. Here's a system tab and and this is where you can level up, or you can use a short key to escape. And which is escape, just press it and bam. Alright, well, that's all I'm going to cover for today. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Hey guys, it's Anthony from PC Gaming Reviewers. So, okay, so first off, this PC game is called Battle of Immortals. I've been playing it for quite a while and decided to make a video about it. Well, first, this game is more about PvPing and roaming around the maps and killing monsters. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is the skills. Every time you level up to the required level, you gain skills, and those skills can be upgraded here. And as you see... It, the, the required levels go from 110, every 15 levels you gain, you get two or three skills. And it goes all the way up to 115, and then you have all the missed skills. And you can also upgrade your skills over here by Mina. By talking to her, just left clicker and upgrade skill, and then you can upgrade all your skills. And let's talk more about the char tab. This is a good tab, and so is the inventory tab. But the 
char tab is more about gear and skills this is where you level up your skills and every time once you reach 20 you can level up all your skills as much as you want every time you level up you get two points to level up okay so I got a full set of Achilles which is uh, level 45 required it's a pretty hard gear to get a full set of I, I had to buy quite a lot of money okay and let's talk about the pet tab the pet tab you can only you can upgrade your pet list which I think it's only going to five for me and I got some really rare stuff right here which are really high levels actually and then you have the mounts tab which is inside the pets tab this is where you pretty much say I see every t every uh, clash you make that are different you get a new horse or pigeon or whatever it's called ostrich and you can buy other mounts from the marketplace all right, so enough about that, and let's talk about the inventory. Inventory is where you hold everything, everything basically, and it's pretty easy to understand. <laughs> and the skill tab, you already know about that. The quest tab, this is every time you get a quest, it's more like a job. You finish the job, and then you go back to the NPC that you need to go to. And you can sometimes, if there's an auto route, all you have to do is click this, and then click the orange lighting orange highlighter and then or the blue highlighter and it'll take you right to the NPC you need to go to okay and the tech system the tech system is crafting and technology research and all that it's not very helpful for me but if you want to create soul jades which are they level up your physical attack for a champion and they level up everything else for a mage heretic people who cast spells okay the friend list this one I never really got the hang of because I never knew that find was the way you added friends. It's pretty easy to figure out and the party tab, this is where you do events with people. Well for me at least. I create a party and then all you have to do is invite some people, go to an event and here are the events tab. This is an important thing to level up with. The events. Here are the events and every time you a couple, every couple times you level up or you go to the certain level you need to level up to, you get new um, you get new quests or events and the events are very hard to sometimes they're hard sometimes they're easy and here is the guild tab once you're level 70 you'll be more helpful the trade tab and the introduction tab which you would probably be on a level 70 and up here's a system tab and and this is where you can level up, or you can use a short key to escape and which is escape just press it and bam Alright, well, that's all I'm going to cover for today. Thanks for watching and have a good day.